Greetings gamers, GHG here, and it's a sad, sad day in Ark. I thought we'd take a look back at the amazing abilities of Mike the Trike. Yes, he protected me in many a situation, such as this Carno sneaking up from behind and Mike busting his ass in the face with three horns. Oh, he was a good dino. But alas, this game is very persistent. So I came to the server this morning, I log in and notice Mike is not in front of my hut. Now that's not a good thing of course, but we do borrow each other's dinosaurs if there's one local to you, but you always bring it back. So I went on to the server chat, no one had seen Mike. Let us take a moment of silence. So I decided to make another Mike. Here is Mike the Trike number two. But of course, we'll just call him Mike the Trike. And since we missed the last taming, here it is in all its glory. When you do tame a dinosaur, it, it throws you up an awesome little uh, information placard that tells you all about the dinosaur. And then I believe you can access that in game. So here we go, Mike <laughs> the Trike. Now, I don't know if that's like, is that bad? That we're just kind of forgetting old Mike and just making a new Mike. No, I don't think so. So I'm going to take him out and get him leveled up real quick. Mikey, you're level four. So I got Mikey actually really fast up to one level higher than old Mike Trike was. So we are at level four now. I've uh, increased his uh, stamina and stuff. I am also uh, leveled up. I'm level 10 now. So... Uh, I've learned some engrams, and I want to do some wooden structures on the house. I already added the thatch roofing, but these, uh, this wooden foundation and the wooden ramps. I want to see how the ramps work. Um, so I figured, ooh, ooh, I'm getting cold. And that's odd, too, because I made a full clothing now. I'm, I got a hat, gloves, shoes, everything. I thought that might help with keeping me warm. Let's light the fire here. Oh, you know what? I noticed uh, even when I came in the house, just having a roof over your head helps. Maybe that it's that rain that's that cold. Possibly. There's a lot to figure out in this game. They, you know, and plus, everything's going to be balanced. It's, it's very early. So I'm going to grab out what thatch, fi uh, a little bit of fiber, and what wood I have. So we can see if we can make um, a wood foundation. I don't know how much of each I'll need. I know the only thing I'm going to need a lot of is wood. And unfortunately, I had farmed quite a bit of wood, and it was in my old Mike the Trike's inventory. So when he was lost, killed, whatever happened to him, I lost all my wood. I don't think I have any on this Mike. Oh, I got a little bit. Okay, I got a little bit of wood on him, but not much. But boy, uh, talk about collecting some fiber. When you're training an herbivore and you're collecting berries, you got more fiber than you know what to do with. Uh, one foundation, yes. So let's go ahead and make that up and see how it looks. I can make two. Nice. Hey, look at Mr. Fiamora here. Mr. Elefante. Nice coloring, dude. You know, I'm still I'm going to train one of those also. I probably won't do it, you know, live because it takes a while. These actually train much faster than Triceratops. But I like to have uh, a couple dinos around the house just to protect each other. I hope, Hopefully they'll all attack... If one of the uh, dinos gets attacked, maybe they'll all jump in and, and take them out. So let's just set this foundation up. I want to make like a porch. Be, you know, nice little porch. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. But my sign's in the way now. Let's see if we can move the sign. That. Eh, demolish. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's something I think they need to work on in this game. They really need to have it where we can move stuff. And, uh, you know, because with a sign, all you have to do is pull it out of the ground and re-put it in somewhere else, you know? You don't have to demolish a wooden sign, like a yard sale sign, you know? Alright, so there's two front porches. That looks good. I like that. So hopefully that ramp will allow me just to walk right up to it. I just, oh. Oh, I heard you. Mikey, let's do this. Let's check out new Mikey's fighting abilities. Protect the house. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, great. Mated pair. Mate boosted. Mikey! 
Mikey, I could use a hand, Mikey. Mikey, I could use a hand, Mikey. Ah. Or not. You know, whichever is fine, Mikey. Ah. Ah. There you go, Mikey. Kick their ass. Look, whoa. 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 <laughs> That was awfully odd. Oh, look at it. Whoa, doing the, the Dillo shake there, son. Hey, uh, you know, there, that was a great job, Mikey, but uh, we need to work on your timing a tad. I know you're kind of new, but my old Mikey did not have this issue. So if you could possibly maybe come when I whistle instead of, you know, whatever dinosaur activities you might have been doing oh I can't grab that can I nope ah oh, good job Mike I guess I mean I couldn't have been there couldn't have been a more you know convenient spot to die on the other side of my bed but that was uh that was kind of late there Mikey the game bouncing around oh did I do good dad did I do good I right, just eat some berries buddy uh, so yeah, uh, what happened there is these dinos have uh, they, they can't back up you can't walk backwards as a dinosaur which I don't understand is that like science can dinosaurs not walk backwards so say you're riding a dinosaur and you have to turn you can't just turn they can't turn on their own axis like shuffle their feet to turn they actually have to be moving forward to turn that entail creates a problem because if they get next to a tree and they want to turn left, but there's a tree on their left, they get all freaked out. And then they'll make like a huge circle going around the other way to get to the, where they wanted to go, which was only two steps away. So that's something they're definitely going to have to work on Dino AI. It really is kind of really wonky right now. But there again, early access. You can't win them all. That's how much we got here. Oh, wow. Wow. I thought I cut down like 10 trees. Maybe not. So uh, I'm not too worried about cutting trees down around the house anymore with the, the pretty quick respawn rate you have with foliage. Uh, ooh, look at the big duke in the way. Uh, foliage and the trees respawn pretty quickly around the house, so I'm not really worried about it too much. Oh, we got one foundation crafting. That's all we needed. I like that when you have it in the hotkey, you can just press it. There we go. Let's check this porch out. I like it, man. I like it a lot, actually. So what do we need for our ramp? Okay, a little bit more wood. Hey, Mikey. I didn't put no wood on you, right? No. Fiber, 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 fiber. I think I've already checked like three times. I got to keep that in mind. Let's walk to the back side here. We'll grab up some wood. Mikey, could you possibly keep your eyes open this time, bud? I would like to not get ate by Dillos. You should, I tell you, Mikey, you should have seen my old Mikey. He took out a Carno by himself. Up. Oh. Hit the two button and repairs it. I do. I tell you, that's a great. I hope they don't take that out. That way you don't have to go back into your. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> go back into your uh, craftables and inventory and all that. All right, so just a couple more trees. We should get our ramp up and see how that looks. Because I've got some uh, some plans for the uh, that second story up there. One of uh, one of my viewers on my last video was mentioning using that lower section of the front of the house as a balcony, and I think that's an absolutely fantastic idea, actually. So we'll see how the ramps work and see if that'll be possible, actually, to get a ramp going up to. That second story right up there, which I'm sure it is. I mean, I don't, I don't see why it's why you wouldn't be able to. Awesome. All right, so we'll just craft one ramp. Oh, I can only craft one ramp, so. There she blows. Uh, set it on this empty water skin. These other water skins, man, they leak down pretty quick. Got to figure out how to keep water at the house. I know I can use uh, stone piping, but I really don't have water close enough to pipe water in, so... Let's see. We're going to put the ramp, I think, on this side because you have to. You have to. Excuse me, Mikey. Okay, so it connects that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so it'll snap to whatever level you're putting it on. That's nice. That's beautiful. That works great. Walk right up onto the porch. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's nice. All right, so let's... uh, Mikey, come over here, buddy. Let's put you on this side of the house over here, man. Stop you right about... Yeah. Yeah, we'll put you on that side. See, the, my house is protected on the front over there by that little cliff. Not really protected, but dinosaurs can't run straight up it. That looks nice, man. Look at there. House is coming along great. We're going to throw... I do believe I'm going to throw that second story like balcony right up there where that lower part of the woods at, or lower part of the house is at. And uh, someone mentioned that tree on the inside might despawn, but it looks like it's staying pretty good. I think we're going to be all right there. Throw a little wood in here, light her up, get a view of the house with the fire lit from the outside, the sun setting in the background. This game is so beautiful. Look at that. All right, guys, I think we're going to call it there. Next time, we'll uh, we'll work on something else. Don't even know what. There's so much to do in this game. We'll just see how it works out. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you later. Thank you.